about a five mile widening of I-64 in the city of Newport News. It started just west of Jefferson Avenue where the existing I-64 went from eight lanes, um, four lanes in each direction, and, and neck down to two lanes in each direction. So right there, there was always a, a pretty good amount of congestion and queuing that happened, certainly in the peak periods, the, the evening rush hour home, if you will, was always really congested. Um, during the summer, it was congested every weekend uh, with people coming home from the beach. So starting at that point, just west of Jefferson Avenue, and running about five miles to the west where the project limits. Went through the Fort Eustis Boulevard interchange over Lee Hall Reservoir. So we had a series of bridge widenings and bridge replacements actually that we did within the project limits. So Dewberry's role was the lead engineer for the project. We were responsible for all of the engineering design, uh, roadway, structural, hydraulics. Our construction staff was also responsible for the construction inspection. Um, so we led those efforts with guys in the field, you know, day in and day out the whole way through construction. We're hearing that it's had a great impact on the community. Um, five miles of widening, we talked a little bit about increasing the capacity, helping to reduce the congestion and the queuing through that corridor, especially in the morning commutes headed eastbound. People coming home from the beach, there's less congestion uh, in the westbound direction at the eastern end of the project limits. From a local resident perspective, or we designed and constructed more than two miles of noise barriers along the eastbound lanes of 64. So the residents that were closest to the highway are seeing the biggest benefit from a noise reduction standpoint and even from a sightline standpoint. A lot of these houses were right off the edge of, this, of I-64 and the noise wall now, they, they can't even see the interstate. So a lot of improvements there from a safety standpoint. I think people are more comfortable driving through the area. You have wider shoulders on both sides. So if you do have a disabled vehicle or a breakdown for some reason, there's room to get out of the road um, without feeling concerned because of narrow shoulders. And then operations at Fort Eustis Boulevard are, are much better than they were before because of much longer acceleration lanes and deceleration lanes. And then the merging condition within the interchange is much better because of the tree clearing that was done.